The words of this life with Apostle Grace Lubega. How does the church grow to the place of no spot, no ring? Ephesians chapter 5 verses 25. He says, Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of of the water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing that it should be holy and without blame how does it do it he loves it so god loves you into glory god loves you until wrinkles leave you god loves you until blemishes leave you he recklessly loves you he says there is no mountain he won't climb when he's coming after you. You're messing up and he says, Lubega, come on, Lubega, come on, I want you. I want you. Come now. Let us reason together. Hallelujah. He chases you. He leaves the 99 until he finds you. Then we say, I don't want, I'm crazy. And he gets on your back. Wow. It's reckless. You don't deserve it. But it chases you down. It fights until it finds you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why men repent. And for more of this, join us every Thursday at Umalugogo from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Finero, make manifest. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1, looking away, the Bible says, from all that will distract. If something comes on your way when your course is clear, the Bible says, looking away to Jesus, who is the leader and the source of our faith and is also its finisher bringing it to maturity and perfection for he for the joy of obtaining the prize that was set before him the bible says endure the cross you go through this stuff because you see the joy that is going to come after regardless of how things are appearing look at that thing ahead beyond this thing and start laughing women if you can't interpret purpose in a man don't waste your time if you look at this guy because fit represent responsibility they represent purpose you don't just look at a guy and you like him no unless you don't understand I just saw him I just liked him for what he is the way he looks you have a problem where is purpose you must first uncover the feet. Feet are direction. Feet are positioning. In the future. Let us fall in love with the word again. Let us buy Bibles. Let us download them on our phones. Let us put them on our computers. WhatsApp is an altar. It's not a show off for carnal men. Put a scripture. Encourage somebody. Your statuses. Let them minister the gospel. Read the word. Sit around men who talk the word. Encourage yourself around people who know the word. Your best friend should be someone who knows. Get the bigger picture. Looking unto Jesus. Which is the author and the finisher of your faith. Read the says before he formed me in my mother's womb he knew me and he's called me the work God began in your life for the call is older than your existence your parents began when you were born in this cosmos God began way before you were born you're not qualified because you're a great graduated student otherwise the best students in class would be the best pastors but he says it's not human wisdom and he says, it's not about might. It's not how strong you are. And he says, it's not even about the family you are born. God does not look at those things when he's calling a man. There was somebody better, but he called you. Calling is a calling to self. God calls you to himself. That's where our security should be. In what God has called us to be. All things work together for good. For them that love the Lord and they are called according to his purpose. Why are you a Ugandan? Why is your color like this? Why are you changing it? He has a reason why he gave you that language. He has a reason. There was a bigger purpose. Why you went in that particular school. If you take diligence to study your story, you will see God knitting you together to where you're supposed to go. 
God has not made has not made mistakes on you and he will not make he has a report and plan for your life as a believer you have to go back and study and ask yourself the ultimate question many of you you'll get direction for your next place of ministry Venero, make manifest how would you have been without God how would you have been without God how would you have been without God think about it how would you have been without Jehovah God on your side so we all say it if the Lord is for me who can be against me but many of us don't understand what it means for God to be for you he's on your side what are the weightier issues about mercy this is the will of God that Jesus will never lose any that was given him so it means even if you messed up in the worst messing up and came back to him he'll still turn and say where can we pick it from his arms will always be why because he has a mandate to the father that he must keep all that have been given him because every time we turn to him we see love yes you're walking the face of this earth but you're not subject to the elements of this earth you're not subject to the diseases of this earth you're not subject to the words of this earth you're not subject to the struggle of this earth you're not subject to the corruption of this earth you're not subject to the testations of this earth you're not subject to the witness of the earth that's why he gave you the word it will remind you who you are if you ever go through a situation and you don't know how to go through it's here read it he sent his word and healed your diseases there is nothing that can bail you out of your situation except the word he left you. Men, responsibility shows whether you're a poor spirit or not. Men, pay fees, put food on the table. Every man must be responsible for their own household. Your wife might be earning seven million shillings and you're earning two million. That's okay. Pay fees anyway. Men, these are things of sitting back. When women are working like donkeys, no, 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 no. That is the poverty mentality. Tabakazi Munyambe. Munyambe. If you ever stop on a road and like a nice car, I want you to lambano this this way. Don't go back and say, I saw a nice car. Go back and say, I met a car and we looked at each other. I looked at a nice house. I looked at it and I said, wow. Even the house was like, whoa. Come on, come on. Get this thing in your spirit. Come on. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. He says the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are like every man seated right here. You're shaping the DNA of your child. You're shaping the DNA of your grandchildren. That is the power of the word of God. He can transcend beyond generations. He said the blessing of God is to a thousand generations. That means you can receive one scripture like this. And it changes how your son thinks, how your children think, how your children's children think. Let's stop playing these things. Go on, did this at this pastor? Me, I know him. Serve God. Serve God. Serve God. Serve God. Serve God. Those who walk out on you, it's okay. If they denied you the job, that is still what? Get the attitude right. You just go back and say, Rabba Katalaba. Something bigger is coming. I'm overqualified. I'm rested in God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which I dare to think or ask according to the working power that worketh in me. To Guamu! Just brush it out and move on. That's the attitude. Scripture. Some of you, some people walk out of your lives. Oh, he walked out of my life. How could she? Oh, she left me. The Bible says they walk out for others to walk in. <laughs> That's 
that's why you have to be bold. Hey, I'm, I'm walking out of your life. I'm tired of you, Joan. You tell him, brother, and when you're leaving, don't stand on the door because you're holding back the traffic. Look at the God who you did everything to to a point where you became useless. He looked at you and felt there was no value you could add to the kingdom. And he sent Christ. Even at your worst mistake, you're still here. God has you. That is waiting. He looked at how useless you were. But he still sent you Jesus. To tell you I don't love you because you're better today. Even when you were useless to me. I saw value in my son. And I told him go down and shed blood for that woman. 